Biofuels are great. They emit less greenhouse gas than fossil fuels, and they're renewable, made from plants found in Canada's own backyard. So we're working to get these machines, like this one, off the ground with biofuel in the tank. Hey, welcome to Science at Work, where we showcase the great work of the scientists and engineers at Natural Resources Canada. Uh, excuse me, sir, there are, there are children waiting for a seat, so if we could just exit the vehicle, that would be great. The current generation of biojet fuel has its limitations. It's made from oil seeds like canola or waste cooking oil. Now, given the amount of fuel needed to power an aircraft of this size, oil seeds are too expensive and waste cooking oil is just too hard to collect. But our scientists are on it. They've perfected this method of converting agriculture and forestry waste, like these wood chips right here, into bio oil. We're using waste, so obviously it's much cheaper, and you can find it pretty much anywhere. Another limitation of today's bio jet fuel is that you can only mix up to 50% of it with regular jet fuel. This means that you currently can't replace regular jet fuel altogether. Our researchers are finding ways to produce a type of bio jet fuel that's similar to regular jet fuel, so that the two can be mixed together at any concentration and still be compatible with current aircraft engines. The aviation industry is working towards lowering its carbon footprint. They've set ambitious goals to reduce their greenhouse gas emissions by 50% by the year 2050. This next generation of bio jet fuel just might help them reach their target. If you want to learn more about bioenergy, renewables, or the energy sector as a whole, please visit our website below. Thank you, and we'll see you next time. If you like this video, let us know with a thumbs up. Click on the logo below to subscribe to the Simply Science channel and click the bell icon to be notified when we upload new videos.